Hello, welcome to today's live video. I'm Peggy O'Neill. I'm the founder of this Facebook group, Answering the Call. And what we're doing is answering that call, that longing from ourselves. That longing is really grace, inviting us to come home to ourselves. What does that mean? To know who we truly are, to be able to express fully and freely what it is that we are uniquely here to express. And today is all about it's time now for each of us to know who we are and to fully and completely express that. Uh, the universe, from my point of view, is screaming for us to live the wisdom that we truly are, the wisdom that's here, the wisdom that's needed in these times. So thank you so much for being here. And today, that's exactly what we're... Oh, so if you're here live, please say hi in the comments. If you're watching this on replay, please... Put in hashtag replay and I love knowing that you were here and that you uh, watched the video and also if you have any comments or questions today or on the replay please put them in there and I will get back to you so today's topic is exactly what I said the world needs you to live your purpose and unique calling now so why am I saying this why now Recently, it's come to me that everything that we talk about here is really common sense. Now you might go, common sense? To know who I truly am, I'm one with everything? Yeah, common sense. We just talk ourselves out of it. Our rational minds are not the common sense. The common sense, notice the word sense. It's a sensing, it's a knowing. And that's what we want to be listening to more. That sensing, that knowing, that's where our common sense is. We're all touched by John Lennon's lyrics, and one day we shall live as one. He doesn't say one day we'll discover and then live as one. He says one day we shall live as one. Whether he knew exactly what he was saying or what I'm picking up on from that and offering today is that we know we're one being. We just cover that over with our rational thinking. We cover it over by not paying attention to the current science. Current science says that we're one being. Current science says there's no separate self. They cannot find a separate self. Neuroscientists, I talked about that last week, put the article in the comments from last week's video so you can find the article there. That it, so. We're using our rational minds and what we've been conditioned to pay attention to rather than our common sense, our knowing. And what else is our common sense? We know we're degrading the planet. We know there's no way out. We really know that. The only way out is for us to know who we truly are and to live as that. And I just realized my computer is unplugged. <laughs> I better plug it in before the uh, battery, uh, something happens with that. All right, so, um, so, and, and we know politics is a mess. We know uh, uh, our workplaces aren't working for most people. Most people are, are not happy at work, um, on and on and on. So our common sense tells us See, we wouldn't even think or, or think that there's something off and something could be different unless common sense told us something can be different here. Something can be different here. So why do we need to live our purpose and unique calling now? I think I've just said that. Uh, well, and then why on top of that, though, why now? But also why is... For us to live our most free, full, and alive lives. That's what people are all craving. We want to know that we're alive, that we matter, that we have something to offer here. may not be a particular thing to do. It can actually be our way of being is what it is. And as our way of being is aligned with who we truly are, sometimes then that shifts everything about how we are in relationship to work and our workplace. It also creates an opening to possibly know something else to do in our lives. This isn't about creating more organizations, not about creating more businesses, more nonprofits. That's not at all what I'm talking about. In fact, there are so many of those, and notice it's not 
a lot of problems aren't getting solved with all these nonprofits. That's another whole conversation. So I'm not talking about any of that. I'm talking about uh, opening to this knowing that something can be different and then it's up to us, each of us, to listen for the nudges, the what's next, how to move with that. So, uh, and then what I mean by living your purpose is to know who you truly are. That's our purpose in life, is to know who we truly are. It's not a thing to do. It's not a statement on a piece of paper. Our purpose is to know who we truly are. And to know that so the, what that is, is that we share our being with everyone and everything. And the experience of that is love. I don't mean romantic love, but, but that love, that deep connection with everything and everyone and peace, happiness, fulfillment, freedom, joy. That's our purpose. And then our unique calling, once we know that, what I just said, and connect with that, then we can start listening for our unique calling. Now, if we focus on getting there someday, we can never get there. If we focus on getting there someday, we'll never get there. Oh, someday I'll find my purpose. Someday I'll know my purpose. Someday I'll know what I'm here to do. If we stay in that conversation, it's always out there. It's always at some other time, some other place, when actually all there is is right now, right here. Also, saying we're going to get there someday is a form of seeking. And so if we stay in the seeking mode and focus on that, we just keep seeking. It's back to the, the proverbial story of the um, man looking under the street light for his keys and uh, somebody walks by, what are you looking for? Oh, my keys, I can't find my keys. And then the person says, well, did you lose them here? And he says, no, I lost them over there, but this is where the light is. So it's that, for us to go where the light is. Where's the light? That's our longing. That's that desire. So we turn around, we go within, we look, knowing it's here. So releasing what's in the way, the, the out of alignment beliefs and habits and, and uh, feelings and know who we are. We can get there really quickly the first time and then it's just a matter of nurturing that and staying open to it. And there's an illusion that keeps us from knowing our purpose and unique calling. And that illusion is, I really already said it, just not in this language, but the illusion is that we're separate. That's the illusion that keeps us from knowing our purpose and calling. And the insight is that we're one with everything at every, you know what, that's not the illusion and insight that I meant to share today. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> this is an illusion and insight too, that we're, uh, that we believe we're separate. And the insight is that we're one being. And what I really meant to talk about today is the illusion is really what I was just speaking to, that we have to find our purpose and meaning. That's the illusion. The insight is, is that I'm inherently purpose and meaning. How could we not be purpose and meaning? We're one with source, one with the universe. The religious name is God's infinite being. We're one with that, one with infinite intelligence, divine wisdom, whatever word you use spirit we're one with that how could we not be meaning and purpose i'm guessing that most of us would say oh yeah the universe is meaningful and purposeful well we are that so that's an illusion too that keeps us from knowing this is because we think we have to find it no no it's already here just again turn around open to it let it be revealed it's already here so what can we do to know and live our purpose and calling? We, again, we can keep turning around. So right now, look, again, if you've been here with me before, you've done this before, but over, as many times throughout every day that you can do this, it just creates more and more of that opening, deepening the knowing. And so the first, so what to do is, is like right now you're aware that you're listening and watching me. You're aware that you're in a room. You're aware of any sounds, any thoughts, any feelings in your bodies. You're aware of all of that. 
And what we do is we have been conditioned to focus on what we're aware of. But what we want to do is notice that I was able to answer yes. Oh yeah, I'm aware of that. That's who you are. What is that awareness? What is that that was aware that I was aware? What is that? And that takes your, your mind away from what you're aware of and lets you experience and sink into the awareness that you are. So going there as often as you can. And the more you do that, then it switch places. Then it switches places. We stop putting most of our attention on the objects, the activities, the relationships, and, and thoughts and feelings or objects. We stop focusing on that and our attention rests in who we are, so it switches places. So we're more consistently being aware, being awareness, being awareness. And then as we're in that space, so to speak, as we are experiencing that more fully and freely in our lives, then we notice the nudges from the universe, the signs, if you will, the any insights or ideas that just come to us that seemingly come from nowhere they come from us come from the universe i don't mean our rational mind not those thoughts but the ones those ideas those flashes of brilliance you're like wow never thought of that before that sort of thing or where did that come from i don't even know what that means so those are the types of brilliance that you are and that as we open to it we can experience and hear and know and then oh and there's some other ways too so if you're in a conversation and somebody something really piques your interest you go oh, kind of make note of that you can keep a journal of this you can um if you're watching a commercial that just me very off well i don't watch very much tv anymore but but uh and i usually go through the commercials because most of what i watch are recorded but but if I'm watching something in real time, even a commercial sometimes, well, I'll go, oh, that was great. Because it catches our attention. Or, again, in the conversation or a book, we read a sentence and that really touches us. Capture those things. And over time, go after a few weeks, go back, reflect back, and you'll start seeing patterns. And those patterns are insights. And, um, and so you can notice the patterns. And, Start seeing what comes to you. And feel free at any time to say, oh, I want to talk to you for 30 minutes. Schedule a call with me to talk about what your insights are. And we can help you look at what's this trying to tell you. Happy to do that. No sales call. Free. Happy to do that. So today, again, I cannot emphasize enough. The world needs you to live your purpose and unique calling now. It's just common sense. It's not up to anybody else. It's not up to a future generation. It's up to each and every one of us now to, right now, be the world that we want the world to be. If we focus on getting there someday, we'll never get there. It's already here. We already know it. It's just allowing ourselves to experience it, to let things be revealed remove the beliefs and the feelings and the activities and the relationships that are in our way. The illusion that keeps us from knowing our purpose and unique calling and the insight that can free us, the illusion is that we have to find our purpose and our calling. Instead, it's already here. We are purpose and meaning. We, there's not, we can't not be. And then I just went over the steps to take and know to live the purpose and calling is just keep sinking back into the awareness that you are and then to pay attention to the nudges, the little, little nudges, call this person or gosh, I feel like I'm supposed to go here today. Start engaging with those, going to those places, doing those things. You build more trust. Then you start hearing more, seeing more, feeling more nudges. The universe knows where you want to go. You do, too, because you are the universe. So you let it. You let it start informing you. 
you let your life be lived, which in actuality it already is. We're being lived. The universe is moving through us at all times. We just slow it way down with all of our resistance and our thoughts and our emotions and our beliefs and our stories. And so just free ourselves to live fully and freely. The purpose that we are, which is to be the universe, to know who we truly are, to be happy, joyful, free, loving. And as we do that, we'll know our unique calling. So thank you so much for being here today. I'll guess one more thing. Let's see. July the 11th, from 11.30 to 1 Central, I'm having a free workshop. I'll uh, post, uh, right, right after this, I'm going to post some more information about the free workshop. You can sign up through Eventbrite. I'll put the link in here. Or if you want to just message me or email me and say you want to register, you can do it that way too. Um, but it will be a great workshop on aligning our energies with the energies of the universe. Really be the flow that we are. It's, to so be a, you know be uh, removing resistance, aligning our energies with the universal energies, and start being in the flow the way we actually are here to be. So anyway, it'd be a great workshop. I hope you'll join us. Invite any friends, family that you'd like, colleagues that you'd like to join. Um, so that doing that uh, on the eleventh, and um, that's it for today. All right, thank you. Th oh, I oh sorry. I'll see if there are any comments here. Let's see. Okay, no comments. All right. Thank you again. So happy to be here with you. Love you. See you next week.